Today I'm talking about how I made four florists sound completely different in the period of five weeks. So this year, during a five week period, I had the opportunity to work with four different florists. Now I didn't start and finish all their projects at the same time, but there was a crossover period when I was working with every single one at different stages. And this is a question I get asked a lot about how I make people sound different that are in the same industry. But you know what, it's not about industry. So I'm not looking at these people as florists, I'm looking at them as people with individual messages and individual values. So for instance, if I were to take right now three or four other Taurians, because I'm a Taurus, or three or four other petite brunette women, or three or four other copywriters, it doesn't matter what you know I'm using as the marker for our similarities, same star sign, same age, same height, same career, we're still very different people. We all have different stories, we all have different backgrounds, we all have different experiences, and most importantly, we have different values. And it's these that I'm drawing on when I'm working with these clients. I'm not looking at the things that quite often people come to me with. So quite often people come to me with their education or their awards. I don't really care about those because if I look at things like education and awards, these, these florists are gonna sound the same. So there might be a, a bit of difference in it, but generally, I think education and awards is a point of parity. What I'm looking at is what sets them apart, and that's usually in their personal story. So, for instance, one of the florists I work with during this period, they believed in minimalism. They really strongly believed that less is more and that flowers are a form of art. They were basically taking one stem and saying, look at the beauty of this stem. Look at the intricacy, look at that. This is a form of art, this is a rare flower. I mean, I don't know if this is a rare flower, I'm just picking a random flower. But for them, they knew what a rare flower was, they knew what made it beautiful. They were looking for simplicity, structure, shape, you know, all these things, and what less is more meant. And flowers is an art form. Whereas somebody else, another florist that I work with, in the same period, was talking about abundance, talking about more, adding value, having impact, show-stopping flowers, getting more bloom for your buck, literally. You would come with your budget and she would work to it and go over and above with this budget. She would give you such amazing flowers. It was all about more flowers, you know, more impact, bigger, bolder, all the time. So as you can see, these two florists come with very different ethoses and neither is right or wrong. They've both got their audience, they've both got their key messages. But if I'd gone in with just their floristry background, meh, you know, would you have really known them apart? When we looked beneath and looked at the key words that were associated with each, like one of them was talking about earthiness, one of them was talking about abundance, one of them was talking more about nature and how the flowers grow, you know, another one, she had so much sass in her personality and we were getting to bring that out through the copy who she was rather than the flowers that she worked with. The flowers are a very small part of being a florist. They're a really big part to your customer, but what people forget about is their personality and their ethos, and that is what sets you apart. You know, for me, I'm not looking at the skill that someone offers. I'm looking at, you know, the, what they believe in, their core beliefs. That's where it all stems from, excuse the pun. So looking at the florists, I could say, well, you know, one of them had got this story where she had struggled to set up in floristry and um, her parents had helped her and we made a story around that, around, you know, that early struggle of becoming, a, having a creative career and doing what you love. And her experience, you know, she's had so many years of experience that what I could have done is gone in and said she has X, Y, Z years of experience. But what I did was take that experience and turn it into a story, which is more interesting. I wanna know about the 17 year old girl that ended up in floristry and why. I don't wanna know about the 38 year old woman who's been doing floristry for X years since she was 17, because I just don't think that stands her apart. You know, if that makes sense. Working with other florists, I was looking at the, their different backgrounds. Some of them had always known they wanted to be a florist. Some of them fell into floristry. Uh, one of them worked out she wanted to be a florist midway through a divorce. These are amazing stories that teach us a lot about, you know, th that in itself, thinking, wow, I worked out while going through the hardest part, period of my life, a divorce, that I want to work in weddings. There's a story right there. Whereas I could have said, 
Um, I love peonies and I like working with tulips, but most of all I work with seasonal, hand foraged, blah, blah, blah. You know, everybody says that. What makes you different? So yes, this video is called How I Made Four Florists Sound Different in Five Weeks. But really, it's not about that. It's about how everybody has a unique story and what are the points of difference rather than what are the points of parity. You know, the only thing that ties these women together, they are all, they all do happen to be women. The only thing that ties these women together is that they do the same career. And even then you could argue the toss. Some of them have got a floristry school or do training. Some of them do workshops. Some of them do certain weddings. Some of them do other weddings. One of them specialised in all open bouquets. One of them, like I said, is minimal. One of them is maximal. You know, even then it's shades of grey. But what I'm saying is, the only common denominator is that they all offer flowers. I've got a lot more to work with than that. You know, when I ask people what makes you different, quite often they don't actually know the answer. But this is the answer. So when people say, hmm, how do you write about different photographers and make them sound different? They're different people. That's my answer. They're different people. They have different styles. They have different experiences. They have different values. They have different messages. That is how I make florists sound different from each other while working on them in the same period. That is how I don't regurgitate the same message. I don't think yet I've worked with the same business. I don't think I've ever found people that are that cross over, ever. And I've been doing this 15 years. So it's just about seeing that difference. Where, you know, you're not a florist. You're a person. Floristry is your career. I'm more interested in the person and I can link that to your work. Your customer doesn't want to know all about you. They don't want your whole history, but what they want is a sense of the personal. They want to connect with you. They want to build a relationship with you. They're probably not going to do that through knowing that you went to XYZ school, had an A in something, a B in something else, a master's in something else, and you're the first person to win the International Florist Award of the blah, blah, blah. You care about that. The florist next door might care about that. But your customer probably doesn't. They want to feel in the heart space. They want to connect with who you are, what you offer and what you believe in. And that's what it's all about. That's how you make florists sound different. And on that note, I have to show off my bouquet. How beautiful is this? I am no florist, hence it is badly displayed. But I love it. Technically, having flowers on my desk is market research when I work for so many florists. What's making you different? What is setting you apart? It's probably not your skill. Please subscribe to this channel if you like this video and I will see you next time with another video on content marketing tips.